I'm Esther Marr with BloodHorse.com reporting to you at the conclusion of the Phasic Tipton Kentucky July yearling sale. This year's yearling sale got the rest of the yearling season off to a strong start with double digit increases in both average and median compared to last year. The average of this year's sale improved 10.45% from last year, while the median was up 20%. Total sales were down 4.7%, but this was expected considering the number offered was down 21.5%. Overall, 163 horses were sold during the yearling session for $14,635,000. The sale topper was HIP51, a filly from the first crop of Desert Party who sold for $460,000 to Nat Ray's Regis Farm. She was consigned by Burt Welker and Clark Shepard's Allied Bloodstock, and she's out of the Chris S. Mayor, Liz Cosette. Phasic Tipton hosted an inaugural Horses of Racing Age sale this year, and the goal for that was to bring more buyers to the yearling sale, who would then in turn stay for the Horses of Racing Age sale, and that goal was accomplished with 55 horses selling for a gross of $5,819,000, an average of $105,800, and a median of $45,000. The sale topper during the Horses of Race and Age sale was HIP 385, Starship Troubles, who won the Princess Rooney this year. She's a ghost sapper filly who was bought by Castleton Lions Farm from Hidden Brook Farm. Earlier we spoke with Phasic Tipton President Boyd Browning, who gave us a little bit of insight into both the yearling sale as well as the Horses of Race and Age sale. Boyd, just talk a little bit about how this year's uh, yearling sale kind of set the scene for the rest of the yearling sales for the year with the strong results. Well, it certainly got off to a successful start for the yearling sales cycle. I mean, average price was up, median price was up, the buyback rate was lower. Uh, overall, the sale felt very good today. There was a vibrant marketplace, uh, lots of bidders, lots of interest. I mean, the, the grounds in the parking lot have been, you know, were frankly overwhelmed today at times. It was like, golly, you know, the Restaurants were full, and you wondered if we were going to have enough capacity to kind of accommodate all the people. But it was a, a very, very, very lively session today, and uh, certainly gives us a lot of confidence and enthusiasm uh, for the for the yearling sales of 2013. And with the inaugural Horses of Racing Age sale, just talk about how that did that exceed your expectations, or we had a great sale. I mean, we really didn't know what to expect going in. We'd kind of said we were hoping to get 50 to 75 horses of of solid quality. Um, I would be lying to you if I told you we, I would have dreamt that we would have averaged over $100,000 in the horses of the racing age. You know, it's a fairly small population still that we're dealing with in terms of the numbers, but, you know, had over 90 catalogs, right, we had 90 horses catalogued, sold a horse for a million dollars, sold a horse for $800,000, so uh, those were certainly, you know, great, great additions to the catalog and the type of horses that, you know, I think clearly demonstrate that you can sell at public auction. All right. Thanks so much, Boyd. Now on to Saratoga, right? Absolutely. Looking forward to it. We'll, uh, you know, approach it with a lot of confidence and a lot of enthusiasm uh, and think that the market's, uh, you know, hopefully going to be very strong for, for all parties in 2013. All right. Thank you. I'm Esther Marr with BloodHorse.com, video sponsored by TaylorMade Sales Agency. Mm -hmm.